Lawrence, you're sweating, but it could be from just walking. It's that type of heat here. What's it been like in Miami, the, the, the gym, the heat, everything like that? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I think that the heat um, is good for training. Obviously, I still make weight. Dan doesn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, so it's been good for me and all the boys getting some warm weather training. Sparring's been intense, so it's good. And how's Dan been? In, I mean, you've been around him not for not for a long, not for not for life, but you've been around him a yeah. lot. How's he been in the last ten days or so? Yeah, no, he's been really good. Um, he's, he's he looks super confident, really lean. Um, and I've noticed from his sparring and just overall thing, he's putting a lot of energy out there, a lot of work. So um, he's going to be good. He's going to need it because it's hot out here. He needs to be in extremely good shape. So he's looking looking fantastic. He has changed slightly. He's become slightly more mobile yeah. from the Dan, say from the GB squad, Agreed. from the days that you probably shared rings there. He's become a lot more mobile. Yeah, I think it's, it's really good for him. A guy of his size, and natural punching power to speed it up makes him even more dangerous, you know, because um, when you have a slow style, as you see, it's easy to, not easy, because he's still powerful, cool. but it's um, manageable. But once you speed something like that up, it's, it's a hard match for anyone. Yeah. yeah. Now you've sparred of him a lot over the years, yeah. from technical spars to mm -hmm. decent open spars. He's always had the power, yeah. but is he putting a bit more finesse behind the power now, Lawrence, would you say? Yeah, I think it's, it's more than just that. As I said, the speed increase now, um, as well as the composure, you know, he used to be very much um, focused on if he doesn't hurt someone in a spa, yeah. it's not a good spa, but now he's fo focusing more on the technical, which creates more openings. So uh, I'm, I'm um, yeah, loving what I see from him. And, 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 and when it comes to punches, you can't rate people. It's not like someone who's scored no, a hat trick, with, but you've been with a lot of big yeah. heavyweights. He, he's, he's in the mix of all of them power. Yeah, I, would, I always say to Shane that he's probably the hardest um, punching out the lot, I think. Um, Obviously, there's more to boxing than just punching power, but it's, it's good to have. Yeah. Most people don't know an awful lot about Trevor, Trevor Bryan, but how do you see it panning out once the first bell goes? What's your gut feeling, Lawrence? Uh, I think that um, he's going to be, for the first maybe couple, it depends, you never know with Dan, <laughs> but with the, for the first couple of rounds, I think it'll be hard to um, pin down. He's, he's a confident man, he's tricky, he's, he's, he's done a lot of good spars with a lot of good guys, so he knows how to survive and, you know, nick shots. I don't think he'll be able to nick rounds because Dan's got too much work work for him. But um, I think it'll be awkward and it's up to Dan to keep his composure for the first couple of rounds, get the jab off, you know, and as soon as he starts busting, Mark will land a shot and, and really hurt, really hurt um, this guy, I think.